and I am a student at Beehive Academy. And my project is the Magic Crystal Tree. Well, first, let me show you the ingredients you will need. You'll need a cup of water, table salt, ammonia, Miss Stewart's blowing. Uh, food coloring is optional. Uh, scissors, pencils, and a bowl, and cardboard. So the first step is you get your pencil or pen, but I suggest pencil so you can erase. And you get your cardboard and you draw a tree on it. You need to make two trees so you can make a, a full tree. So after you cut it out, you'll get something like this or whatever type you have made your tree. But I made mine like this. So they're easier to put together, I think. So then you get, then you don't have to use your cardboard anymore. But you do have to use your scissors but you don't have to use your pencil. So when you finish your um, crystal tree or your cardboard tree, you get one tree and you get your scissors and you go from the bottom to the middle and you cut from the bottom to the middle like a little slip like this. Then you get your other tree and you cut from the top to the middle like this. And you get like that. What you first do in your measuring cups, what you first do is you get one tablespoon of water. So then you pour this in like this. Get a tablespoon of water. Then after a tablespoon of water, get a tablespoon of salt. And you pour that into your water. Then after a tablespoon of salt, you get your tablespoon of Miss Stewart's blowing. And you pour that into your mixture. Then after that, you get a half a tablespoon of ammonia. Then after you put all your ingredients in, you get back your measuring cup or spoon and you mix all the ingredients until you feel no more salt sitting at the bottom. So you mix and you mix and you make sure everything is fully mixed up. And then after you know that everything's fully mixed up and it will kind of it'll look bluish because of the blowing of Mrs. Stewart. You bring back your trees, and you get your trees, and you stick them together, like so. Then, if you want to, this is optional, get your food coloring, and you put it on the edge of your tree, like this, to make it color when the crystals grow, to make the crystals that color. So you could do as many colors you want or whatever color you want. And it doesn't matter what color you want or uh, what type it is. And then after that, you put it in your blooming. You'll have to wait oh, for 24 hours or 10 to 24 hours to let the crystals grow. While this is growing, how it grows is that... Um, after you put the thing in, there's this thing called a capillary action. And what it is, is it helps, it's like the thing that takes uh, the plants that go into the, it helps bring the water and nutrients from the soil up through the plant to all the stems and everything like that and helps get the plant nutrients. Well, this is what this is doing. It's evaporating into the tree and to make the crystals. And how they make the crystals is a mix between Miss Stewart's Blooming and the table salt. Now, the Miss Stewart's Blooming is not just regular dye. It's actually a white 
it's kind of a white and clothes thing that you use for things, but it helps get the things. And then the salt is for the crystals. It makes the crystals. The balloon just helps it along. Then the evaporation is held by ammonia because ammonia is faster. Um, it helps speed up the evaporation than, it, uh, than water actually evaporates. So after you wait 10 or 12 hours, this is what the magic crystal tree looks like when it's finished. It has crystals all over it, and these crystals are soft, powdery, they'll feel like powder. They're very soft, so if you touch them, they'll fall off like this. But this took about 24 hours to happen, and the solution evaporated into the um, tree, and it made the crystals. And they're the color of the food coloring that you put on. Thank you for watching Beehive Science and Technology.